Hey there, good morning. Happy Thursday to you. I'm meteorologist Stephanie Lauber. And so far this morning, some of us getting a nice little treat in the form of some more comfortable conditions outside. Here's the view from our downtown studio sky cam. Have the full view for yourself. It is a bit of a hazy morning still in that it's very humid out, at least here in Corpus Christi, but some other parts of the coastal bend are feeling a lot better so far this morning. So let's talk about some differences when you step out the door, namely in the temperature. If we look back at how this compares to 630 on your Wednesday morning, right now we are seven degrees cooler in Orange Grove, four degrees cooler in Robstown and Alice, five for Kingsville, and another big difference in Rockport. Good morning to our friends there, waking up three degrees cooler at this point, which doesn't seem like a big deal, but let me tell you how the humidity really acts like an amplifier for these conditions and what our body perceives the temperature to be. So just a small difference in temperatures does make a big difference when you step outside feels more comfortable and you know what temperatures in some of those neighborhoods are looking a lot closer to where we would typically see them for a day like today in June. So 75 in Mathis feels pretty true to temperature. 81 in Rockport though feels like 88. So still feeling that humidity uh, thanks to our proximity to the water. Here in Corpus Christi and in other southern zones, we are feeling the warmth. 84 right now at CCIA feeling like 97 out at Naval Air Station Corpus Christi. 83 feels like 95. And for our friends in Falfurias this morning, 80 degrees feeling like 88 so far. And it's going to be another hot afternoon, so heat alerts are already on deck. We have a heat advisory in effect for a good deal of the coastal bend. It does not include B, Refugio, or Aransas counties, but pretend you're in the club because we're still going to see uh, dangerous heat area wide. It just means that you're not meeting that criteria today of staying between 110 to 114 for a period of two hours or longer, but the rest of us will. So this kicks off at 1 p.m. It goes until 7 o'clock tonight. You want to make sure you're practicing those heat safety tips. Take breaks indoors, drink plenty of water, and make sure you think about your loved ones, including your furry friends. They need a place to beat the heat too, cool off and stay hydrated. And our star today in the dog walking forecast is Poppy. Mom says that Poppy has a message for all of our other four-legged friends. Get that game of Frisbee in earlier on in the morning or later on in the evening. I think that's great advice. So far this morning, we're expecting a warm up that is going to take us to about 90 around lunchtime and we'll have more sunshine in the mix. Our winds, however, coming from a slightly different direction. We've got a little more of an east component to the wind, so that kind of cuts off so much of that uh, mugginess that we've been dealing with. Yes, still a good deal of humidity out there, but check out Muggy Meter. It tells the story into the changes that we're going to see this afternoon. So we've been telling you about a warm up. We're going to feel it today, but when our humidity comes down just a few degrees with a dew point, we are going to notice a trade off as temperatures warm up and that humidity comes down. Uh, things feeling a little better outside to your body. That amplified perceived temperature isn't as drastic, but still I think dangerous heat is going to stay in the forecast over the next couple of days. So yeah, humidity can play a big role when you had, don't have a lot of moisture in the air, dry air, it's less dense, so we can heat and cool more easily. We see bigger changes between the morning low and the afternoon high, but when you have a lot of water sitting in the air, it's dense, and that takes a lot of energy to heat it up, and that's where we see smaller changes in our temperature throughout the day, and we really pack on that feels like temperature. So that's the difference that you're going to feel through today and the next couple of days. Unfortunately, we're hoping we could do something with all the water sitting in the air above us, we're feeling less hopeful about rain chances heading into next week. We thought maybe Monday might lend us a chance for isolated showers, maybe a rumble of thunder, but we're going to keep our eyes on it. It's still a couple days out. Hopefully by the end of next week, we can start seeing those rain chances tick up a bit because we could really use it. Our rainfall deficit now dropping. We need behind four inches for our annual rainfall already, but none in the seven day forecast. As of now, things look dry, but still very hot. Temperatures staying those middle to upper 90s with dangerous heat expected.